Hi everybody, this is Alyssa with Twin Cup Tarot, and I have another reading here for you today. Now this is going to be a general collective reading for first singles and then couples. So keep in mind, this is a general read. It may not be your story. It's simply going to be the messages for those who need to hear it the most. And as always, energy is fluid, time is an illusion, roles can be reversed, and this may not be your story, guys, and that's okay. That's perfectly okay. All right, guys, let's get right into it. What do my single people need to hear right now? Okay, guys, for my singles, I'm seeing that a lot of you guys are feeling overburdened by lies. Okay, overburdened by, and not necessarily lies or illusions that you're putting forth. It could be lies and illusions from others. You may feel like other people have put on false pretenses, you know, in order to impress you or false um, kind of pretenses in order to kind of rope you in. And that's definitely caused this unhappiness, this instability. You felt like you've had a bad luck in love. You just feel like there's been a lot of bad luck. And you feel that nobody is giving to you. Like they're just taking from you. That's what I'm, wow guys, I'm getting that a lot of you just feel very anxious, very stressed out, maybe a little hopeless, and you feel overburdened. You feel like in relationships, you take all the responsibility. You, you deal with your unhappiness in order to make this other person happy. Yeah, with that queen, that queen of swords and the six of cups, this is telling you strongly, my single people, cut away that which does not serve you and start giving to the things that are actually positive in your life. And that's just not, that's not just talking about relationship. Even though this is a singles slash couples read in terms of romance, this is about giving to the positive things in your life. Giving to your family, giving to your close friends, giving to your spirituality. You know, I, there is no judgment. There is only love here, guys. I personally am a Christian. I know that that seems very, very contradictory to the fact that I'm a tarot reader, but I am extremely spiritual, spiritual, and I, and I am a Christian, and it's very important to me personally to put, you know, energy and time and love into the spiritual aspects of myself. So no matter what your spirituality is, I think it's talking about giving to that, you know, loving yourself enough to give your soul what it needs, giving your soul nourishment. Wow, this is really deep, guys. I'm getting that this is this is a lot about self-love, okay? And and once again, don't give to people in situations that are toxic. Give to people in situations that won't go anywhere for you. You know, this is this is time to be honest with yourself, my single people. Be honest with yourself. You deserve so much better. Yeah, new starts. New starts. And you have to be patient. You have to cut away the past ties, cut away the past connections, free yourself. There is a huge world out there. There are billions of people in this world. And are you telling me the only ones that you deserve are the ones who are wrong for you? No, absolutely not. You guys deserve everything you want and more. You deserve that. You are worthy of, of the highest love. Absolutely. You guys really need to believe that you deserve your Ten of Cups. You deserve ultimate happiness. And if you can let go of the past, let go of those toxic connections, start loving yourself. Wow. Wow, guys. Okay, so Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. That is ultimate fulfillment right there. Ten of Cups talks about that that emotional romantic fulfillment which is which is very beautiful and then ten of pentacles talks about that ultimate stability so having those both together is ultimate happiness ultimate fulfillment so you guys absolutely have the potential to get everything you're looking for if you just stop giving to those connections that are toxic that take from you okay extend your cup to the positive things all right, my single people. Now let's just get a little 
three card spread maybe depending on what comes out here on what you can expect coming into you soon if you can let go of these toxic ties all right guys i see i see passionate new beginnings for you guys that could be oh okay give me just one second here i'm gonna Okay, this is, I gotta say, this is interesting. So what I'm seeing, if you can let go of those past ties, I'm actually seeing an ending to the instability, okay? I see you starting to feel more passionate and really taking action, and you stop extending the things that no longer serve you, okay? Which I think that was pretty self-explanatory here, but let's see here. I see basically the pain ending, that feeling of being left in the cold, being bereaved, feeling like someone took everything from you. That's going to end. You're going to move out of that pain. You know, a side message that I'm getting for some of my single people is if you recently, you know, um, ended a relationship with somebody or you ended a situation, um, recently that's definitely talking about you getting away from that pain and really healing yeah wish fulfillment you know ending this period of negative self-thought really starting to love yourself you know and getting out of this this kind of dependent energy getting out of the sadness yeah yeah guys it wasn't a three card spread but they keep coming out i keep reading so pretty much what i'm seeing is that you're going to find yourself almost immediately starting to heal and being happier, feeling more fulfilled once you let go of those situations that are actually bringing you down. All right, my single people, I love you so much. And now let's go to our couples. Oh, I have a card flip in there. These are not wanting to shuffle in the correct way today. They're kind of resist. Wow. Do you have a lot of resistance going on in your relationship right now? Okay, so for you guys, I'm seeing that a lot of couples right now, there's some kind of sadness going on. I'm not sure if it has to do with the actual relationship or if something challenging has occurred that has kind of caused you to pull within yourself and to not really um, express your emotions to your partner. I'm seeing that this has to do with luck, okay? But it's not really bad luck. That's the interesting part here. You know, with this Five of Cups and this Wheel of Fortune, it doesn't feel like bad luck. It more feels like you expected more. I don't know why I'm getting that. I'm getting that you got what you got was positive, but you expected more. If that if this has to do with your relationship, maybe there's something that you feel is falling short or maybe the passion has kind of kind of gone to kind of a simmer recently. Maybe you know, maybe sexually things aren't as passionate as they used to be or emotionally or romantically they're just not as passionate as they used to be and you're not really sure why and I think this is once again talking about you closing off and not expressing your concerns not expressing your sadness and what's going on with you and once again this can be reversed your partner might be withdrawing and that might be leaving you feeling a little bit you know concerned and worried anxious not sure what's going on you know maybe even looking at your yourself and be like, is this about me? Did I do something wrong? Am I missing something? But I'm seeing with this Ace of Swords that whoever's in this energy, they're really trying to figure out the truth here. Um, and the other person in the scenario is also trying to get to the bottom of this. You know, what the heck is going on? Because you guys aren't working together. You know, there's kind of a balancing act going on right now emotionally, and neither one of you are really giving Neither one of you are really extending, okay? But what I get is even though you guys aren't extending your emotions, extending a lot of passion right now, you guys want to. I definitely see that there's something holding one of you or both of you back from kind of showing love right now, but you guys want to. 
So I don't think the love is lost here at all for the for the mo majority of you couples. You know, I, I see that the passion's still there, but there's this this sadness is kind of overthrowing it. I'm just not sure what the disappointment is here. With this death transformation, maybe this is a time in your relationship that reevaluation is supposed to happen. And maybe there's, oh, something fell on the ground. Maybe there's something that actually needs to be changed in the relationship. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a pause. It's a pause, guys. And this is actually a positive pause. This is a time that things need to change. And so reevaluation has to happen. But once that reevaluation happens and whoever's feeling withdrawn kind of figures out what's going on and, and kind of heals whatever sadness they're feeling, the happiness will come back. This is temporary. Yeah, this is temporary, guys. Okay, that will end. And it'll just take time. It'll take patience. Okay, you just have to be patient with this person. And if it's opposite, you just have to ask for this person, the other person to be patient with you. Yeah, there's something being hidden. And I get that that's going to be that will be expressed eventually. Okay, that will definitely be expressed eventually. But there's something being held back, something hidden. Someone's feeling very emotionally about it. Yeah. And what's rough? Yeah. What's rough about um being in a strong connection slash relationship with someone and having them withdraw, there's something about that that feels worse than if they lash out at you. There's something about someone pulling their energy from you completely that is actually more painful, makes you feel more lonely, makes you more stressed out and anxious. Because at least if they're angry with you, they're paying attention. Now, neither one of those is healthy, okay? Neither one of those is is positive, but that's what I'm getting here is that it, it feels more difficult right now because this person really isn't expressing their true thoughts and feelings and you feel that absence. Yeah, you feel that lack of passion. You, you might be worried that this relationship is ending because of that, but it's not, guys. It's, it's really not. You know, those ships... Those, those truths, those reasonings, they're going to come in. Just reevaluation needs to happen. And it's going to. It will. And it won't take that long. I'm getting a lot of quick energy here. So this is just a temporary lull. But I think, I, I think with this conflict, it, it will actually make you guys stronger in the end. Yeah. Okay, so that Nine of Wands. It talks about, wow, this is crazy that it's right next to the Five of Wands. That basically talks about... You know, winning or almost winning the battle, being at the end of the battle, feeling bruised, feeling, you know, weak, feeling battle weary, but you're still, you're still trying to move forward. You're still, you know, trying to make this work. You're still working on the battle. And there's no giving up here, but it's also telling about almost being at, oh, another card flipped out. It also talks about being at the end of that cycle. Yeah, it'll come back together. They pulled back for right now, They they, but they will. They'll come back. They'll come back to you. They'll give their energy back to you is probably a more accurate way to say it. They just need some time alone at the moment, but it's okay. You know, give them the space that they need. Realize that it has nothing to do with you. It, it has everything to do with them, okay? It truly isn't you. It is them. Okay. They will extend it back to you. All you can do is show love, show support, show patience and back off, you know, give them space. That's pretty much what I'm getting. All right, my couples, let's get a couple cards of what's about to happen. Okay. So we have cards keep falling on the floor. This is definitely an anxious energy guys. Okay, that is interesting. Okay, so basically, this is an interesting energy with the Nine of Cups in reverse, Ten of Cups, and the world in reverse. I actually get what's coming in soon is there might be an argument, there might be a fight. Each of you might feel a little bit single right now, even though you're in a relationship. For some reason, you're just not jiving. You're not feeling balanced. You're not feeling especially connected because someone withdrew. And that concerns you. But 
this happiness is going to be there. It's going to come back. It just, it's taken a little time. And you might feel a little bit trapped in the situation right now. But once again, everything will be okay. You know, for a very small percentage of you, this relationship very well could end. But if this is a situation that does end, I see it restarting. And it, that might just be part of what, what the space is this person needs. For And that's very few of you. Very, yeah, very few of you um, will have that happen I is what I'm feeling. Um, for the most of you, it's just going to be that spiritual pause where that person's going to walk away emotionally and work on their own thing. And they're just not going to share their thoughts and feelings with you at this time. All right, my couples, I hope that helped. I love you all so much and you have a wonderful day.